How do you know if it's your starter or alternator that's causing your problem? Welcome to Mercy J Auto Care, where compassion and craftsmanship come together. I'm Rick Smith, Master Certified Technician. So let me just kind of explain what an alternator does. An alternator charges the battery and it kind of keeps everything going so we're not just running off the battery. So for example, a flashlight, we just have a battery. And so that battery goes dead, the flashlight quits, and then we either recharge that or put a fresh battery in. But the car, when it's running, the alternator should be charging the battery all the time. There's a couple things. If you have a voltmeter, watching that voltmeter, you turn the car on, should be about 12 and a half volts. Start it up, the voltmeter should go up to about 14. The other thing you can do is most cars have some sort of a battery light, but that battery light is actually an alternator light. So you turn the key on, you should see the battery light come on. Start the car up, should see the battery light go off. Typically that's going to be a good alternator and typically the light will come on if the alternator is bad. There are some situations where that's not true. Starters, typically the car's either going to crank over real slow or you're going to hit the key and you're going to hear a single click, click, click or you're going to get nothing. So that's one way to kind of start to separate it. Obviously the diagnostics get to be a little bit deeper than that, but I hope this helps you out. And until next time, safe travels and blessings to you.